with the support for generative AI in MySQL HeatWave, customers can now interact with MySQL HeatWave in natural language, meaning they can ask questions in natural language, they can get responses in natural language. But for generative AI, we use LLMs. Now, LLMs are trained on public data. And what that means is that if you want to search data within the enterprise, if you want to search proprietary data, LLMs are not going to give you accurate answers. And for that, we are introducing Vector Store inside HeatWave. Vector Store takes documents either from the object store or from inside the database, creates embeddings, it's an in dimensional embeddings from these documents. And when the user asks questions, it does a similarity search of these embeddings. The output of the vector store is sent as an input to the LLM. So the LLM takes the original question from the user and this context and the results from the LLM after the input from the vector store is provided is a lot more accurate. Now note that the vector store output is a, just an input to the LLMs. LLMs are not trained on this proprietary data, so you don't run the risk of any information leakage from the LLMs. Now, let me show you a demo of the capabilities which we are introducing in HeatWave with Vector Store and Generative AI. So let's play the demo, please. So over here, what I'm going to show you is how users can interact with HeatWave using natural language, and what are the advantages of having Vector Store inside HeatWave. So what I'm showing over here is uh, we have Jupyter Notebook, which is connected to an instance of MySQL HeatWave. All the machine learning capabilities of HeatWave are exposed as a SQL interface. That's why any SQL client can connect to HeatWave and leverage the machine learning capabilities. So we are augmenting the existing interfaces we have for machine learning for generative AI capabilities. So for instance, we have one of these interfaces called ML Predict Row, which is used for machine learning. We are augmenting it so that the question which the user is asking is going to be sent as an argument to this function. We are introducing a couple of new interfaces for the vector store management, and, uh, but these are all exposed as SQL interface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pre-trained LLM model, load it into HeatWave, and then ask a few questions. So the first question I'm going to ask is, why did Astura, one of our customers, pick MySQL HeatWave? The system responds, which is based on LLM, that they chose HeatWave because it was the best choice for the project. Kind of OK, but kind of not very specific answer. Now, for the second one, why did Tetris.co benefits uh, they achieved by HeatWave? It's giving a very vague answer. And this is a problem of hallucination, which LLMs suffer from. And then for the last question, how much cost savings did Tetris.co achieve with HeatWave? The system, the LLM gives an answer of 5%, which is incorrect. Now, by the way, this is Tetris.co, which is a marketing analytics company based in LED, not to be confused with the gaming company Tetris. Now let's introduce Vector Store. So we have a repository of documents stored in HeatWave Lakehouse. We are going to like load them into the Vector Store and then ask the same questions again and see what is the difference in the quality of the results. So once I've done loading, I'm going to ask the same question again. Why did Estuda pick MySQL HeatWave? The system now responds, the LLM, with the Vector Store input, that the superior query speed, the on-demand scalability, and the affordable cost of HeatWave helped Estuda expand their business. This is a lot more specific answer. For the second one, that what benefits did Tetris.co achieve by using HeatWave? Now, the system responds that the improved performance, where earlier the queries were taking about minutes, now they're down to a fraction of a second, helps the engagement with C-level executives, which further deepens the relationship with the customer. This is the advantage. Now, this is a much more specific and precise answer which you are getting. And then finally, for the question, which is what cost savings did Tetris achieve by HeatWave? The system tells you that they migrated from Aurora in Redshift to HeatWave, and in the process, they saved about 50%. And this is the correct answer. Most of the customers who migrate from Aurora Redshift to HeatWave, we see that they save about 50%. So what I've just shown you is with generative AI and vector store capabilities in HeatWave, customers can interact with HeatWave in natural language, and with vector store, Customers can now query enterprise data, data which is stored inside the database, and not suffer from the hallucination problems of LLMs. Thank you.